this week's film was Aunt Mary. This ended up being a better film than I thought it would be. Aunt Mary is about an elderly disabled woman who lived in Baltimore. She was a huge fan of the baseball team, the Orioles. Um, she, you could tell when they first um, started the movie, she was watching the game and she knew what she was talking about and she would always make comments at the, the radio. When the game was over, a little boy came in, they started talking, and then later into the movie, the boy wants to get a little league team together, and she um, is asked to coach. She is asked to coach a team of street kids in a troubled neighborhood. She lays down rules for them, she helps them be better kids, but as the movie progresses, her health issues get worse, and she ends up having to have some of her leg amputated. After she ends up getting her leg amputated, it kind of seems as if she's given up on the whole coaching thing. She's not very confident in herself, and the only thing that brings her back up is meeting another disabled kid whose arm is amputated because she's getting out of the hospital and here's the Orioles game. Well, they end up bonding and he says all he wants to do is be a baseball manager and she says, well, you've got to play baseball first. And from there, it kind of just encourages her to go back to teaching her little league team and as she teaches him them, the disabled boy comes to the team and joins them. And also an African-American little boy comes and joins them. And that drives off some of the team. But it still has some of the team members want to play and that's all they want to do. At the end of the movie, she takes on a girl for the baseball team. And um, it ends after that, but you know that the there's a baseball field dedicated in her name as well for all the kids that she helps. One of the first social issues you see is them saying that she can't coach a little league team because she's a woman. And it's from the um, grandpa across the street, the really good friends in it kind of seems as if a joke, but you kind of um, go into it, and he he says she can't do it because she's a woman, because she doesn't know anything about baseball, but she's the biggest baseball fan, and she proves him wrong. You watch the whole movie, and he ends up coaching the team, and it's harder than it looks. He doesn't know any baseball terms. She knows more baseball than he does, but in a time back then, women didn't know sports. They didn't know baseball. And and even now, today, this the issue that we have with women, women are being paid less than men. They're underappreciated. We're doing the same job as men, but we're not getting as much pay. And it's purely because we were women. On their first practice as a team, she takes them to a baseball field, and there's a police officer there who watches them. As the practice progresses, the boys get a little short-tempered and will start started fighting. One of the police officer came over there to break up the fight, but Aunt Mary had already done it. And something that you see now is they already have decided that these boys are thugs, that they don't know how to be good and that he just profiled them in the movie he did that little boys and that still happens today they're a part of the wrong neighborhood so they're going to act a certain way they they figured that 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 in the movie it happens but it happens now as well 
one of the biggest controversial things to happen in this movie is when Aunt Mary allows an African-American boy to play for her team. She sees him standing by the fence watching them and she said, oh, they're pretty good and so they can do better. And she offers for him to play with and he just, he looks so excited and he goes out there and he plays and she tells one of the kids to bat to him and he bats in the opposite direction. And she said, oh, can you hear me? You need to bat to the new kid. He said, do you know what will happen if my dad knows I'm playing with him? And some of the team members walk off. They get out there, I'm not on the team anymore. And after that, she's getting called names by people on the street. A jersey store won't sell a jersey to him. Bricks are thrown in her window. And, and all of that because she allowed an African-American boy to play on her team. Racism is a big thing right now. A lot of people are standing up for what they believe in. They're making noise. They're doing, they're trying to get people to understand that it's not just back then that they were racist. It's now. We're doing it now as well. This is a social issue that was worse back then, but it's still here. And, and in this movie, the little boy... He he catches his name's Wally. He catches a um, a fly ball and helps the team. And you they turn to the crowd and oh yeah he's not that bad he's not that bad you know they've changed their mind over him catching a ball and that's what we're trying to do now change people's mind change people's thinking but this is an issue that's still happening today. One of the other things that I I wanted to talk about is when Mary gets her leg amputated she kind of just gives up she doesn't think that she's good enough to coach the team and she gets sad and the boys go over and sing her song and try and cheer her up but it just kind of seems like it makes her even more sad she's completely defeated and thinks that she can't do it and I know this happens a lot with just people in general in life and some things get to you and it's just, it could be one small thing and it ruins your whole perspective on what you want to do. Well, she's in the hospital talking to the doctor and on her way out, she hears another boy um, she, listening to the radio and she goes in there and it's a little boy who's a big fan of the Oreos and she goes and uh, listens to the whole game with him and is just saying talking about the team and he goes one day I want to be a manager for one of the teams she says well first you've got to play he's like well how am I going to play with this I can't play and she goes of course you can and she encourages him to go play he's got a disability he doesn't have another arm but she still encourages him to play and it kind of helps her realize that even though she doesn't have the other leg she can still coach I think her meeting him was what she needed to continue to do what she want, what she loved. Now, my question for you is, what issues in this movie do we still have today? I know that I talked about some, but I want to hear from your perspective what you think our issues still are, what we need to work on, and how you think that we can overcome these issues.